Take a look outside over Yosemite National Park where you see the sun coming up and how much smoke is still plaguing the valley up there and all of that coming down really filling into the Kern River Valley. This is our Breckenridge camera, which usually looks down at the lake there below and you can't see it because the smoke is so bad. So many people up there talking about how awful it was this weekend and there's no real relief today. My husband's driving to work right now and he just texted me when he got there that the air quality is awful even here in the valley and you see that as the sun comes up, those clouds come through. Now we have several fires that are burning up and down the state. The Ferguson fire is the one putting off most of the smoke, but we are getting some of it from the Lions fire, Horse Creek and Georgia's fire coming down into our area. So that's why this air quality warning continues today, having serious health effects on especially those who have sensitive lungs, the young children and the elderly groups as well. But even healthy adults can see some of these health issues. So take it easy out there. Don't overexert yourself in this bad air quality because yes, you're seeing spots of rain trying to come through out there. Most of that's Virga. It's evaporating before it gets to the ground because we're too warm to allow it to really rain. Still 70s in the Kern River Valley this morning, 70s and 80s on the valley floor and down into the desert. And as I zoom out, you can see that it's just that cloud cover that's been coming in overnight. We have more to tap into as the monsoon returns, bringing us a lot of cloud cover and some Sierra, Sierra thunderstorms to our north. But for us here in Kern County, the best chances to see thunderstorms, mainly from about the Kern River Valley down to California City, maybe Ridgecrest. But all three of those locations still have more 100s today. So that evaporates a lot of that rain trying to come through here on the valley floor. More 100s. It's been three weeks now straight to up triple digits and we have at least another week to go. But heading into this weekend, see how it's slowly falling. I'm going to try and get us some 90s by early next week. We'll see if we can do that. 96 would be below average and that would be something we haven't seen the 90s since July 10th. You guys, it's already July 30th. Current River Valley 100s for you the next couple days, maybe some upper 90s by Friday. Attach me 90s through Thursday, maybe some upper 80s heading into the weekend. Fraser Park, it's all 80s, but with this cloud cover coming through, even if it doesn't actually rain, keep in mind that it will increase that humidity, so it makes this heat feel worse than it actually is.